Hello! I've had this YouTube channel since 2012, but up to now I wouldn't have considered myself a YouTuber. However, this is about to change. If you don't know me, I'm Colleen Webb, freelance actress, writer, composer, producer and tap dancer from South Staffordshire in the UK. I run Redhead Reach, raising the profile of redheads on stage and screen. Over the years, I've uploaded various videos to this YouTube channel, including my acting show reels, a couple of short films I acted in, monologues, trailers of theatre shows I've created, and two tap dancing videos. To my great surprise, my singing and tap dancing video, It's a Good Day by Peggy Lee, has accumulated over five and a half thousand views to date. My other tap dancing video also attracted quite a lot of views, and my next most viewed videos are Anne of Green Gables theatre show trailer, being this, and Anne of Green Gables monologue. I say all this because when I uploaded the tap dancing videos, I didn't have a clue about YouTube. I just felt like filming some tap dancing. So now that I've researched how YouTube works, I can only assume that those videos attracted views because they were searchable content. In other words, they were recognisable topics that people were searching for. I didn't know anything about algorithms and optimization on YouTube. So it seems to be a complete fluke that I probably had good tags, titles and descriptions for those videos to be discovered and attract so many views. This channel has been a bit random and generally a tool for me to promote my acting work and productions I've created. I think that becoming a YouTuber is about being consistent and committed to creating content on a theme. So, with my new venture, I suppose you could say I'm becoming a YouTuber. I've set up a new channel called The A to Z of Clueless Experts, which is an original web series I'll be releasing this summer with a new episode every week. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, commented, liked and watched this channel. Also, thanks if you're watching me for the first time right now. However, if you'd like to watch some regular original entertainment, please have a look at my new channel, The A to Z of Clueless Experts, which I'm describing as a one woman satirical drama with a dash of sci fi and weirdness. I'm creating the entire web series all on my own. <laughs> The story is told through vlogs and mockumentary interviews. It's about a sarcastic millennial called Cadenza Lane, who enrols on a weird online course. It's essentially satirising the internet. Cadenza is the protagonist, but I play over 20 characters in the full series. Some of you might know that a Cadenza is a long and challenging solo passage in a piece of classical music. The web series is also long, challenging and totally solo. At this point, I'm planning to put up a link for you to click on, which should appear somewhere around here. This will send you to my new channel, where you'll find the web series trailer. Please go and watch. I also really need 100 subscribers on the new channel.
I'll put the channel link in the description below as well. I think it's going to be a challenge to get the web series discovered and attract views on YouTube because being a completely original series it's not a known searchable topic unlike It's a Good Day song and Anne of Green Gables. This is why I need as much support as possible to promote the series through subscribers, comments and likes on YouTube to help the algorithm along with sharing the episodes on other social media platforms. The A to Z of Clueless Experts is really unusual and it's difficult to compare it with anything. However, I'm now going to list some things you may have heard of which have either influenced me or I've been told are a little similar. Inside number nine, Philomena Kunk character in Charlie Brooker's Wipe, The Lizzie Bennet Diaries, Green Gables Fables, Creature Comforts and Spike Milligan. If you like any of those or you know anyone who likes any of those, you or that person might like the A to Z of Clueless Experts.